In the far reaches of Papua New Guinea, the Karin tribesmen hunt a delectable dish. It has fur, fangs, and claws. And it's not something most Westerners would dare to taste. It's a bat, the flying fox bat, to be precise. It's tasty meat, flying fox. A couple of times a month, we eat it. To Westerners, bats are the stuff of nightmares and horror movies. Just say bat and many think of vampires, sinking their fangs into helpless victims. Even in the real world, bats are thought of as carriers of dreaded diseases, like rabies. But in the Madang region of Papua New Guinea, the Karin people have a long tradition of hunting bats as food. The flying fox is the most common breed of bat here. It's also the largest bat in the world. That means bigger claws, bigger teeth, and bigger wings. These fruit eaters can weigh up to three and a half pounds, 50 times as much as the average bat. The flying fox bats aren't easy to catch, but for these Karin men, it is a tradition. They have been raised from boyhood to use ingenuity and homemade weapons to nab them. Today, they'll mount a sneak attack through the thick overgrowth and come at the bats from behind. The flying fox bats wait unsuspectingly with their beady eyes and large wings. The men will have to wade into the lake. But there's one problem. These waters are teeming with deadly crocodiles. We went into the trees, hit them while they were hanging. They fell down, and we caught them. They fell into the water, and we got them and put them in the canoe. Back at the village, fresh coconuts are cut up for the main dish. The hunters steered clear of the crocodiles and brought home plenty of bats. Now I'm singeing the hair on the flying fox bat. The bat is roasted until the fur is gone, then cut up into pieces and lightly boiled. Much of the meat remains raw. This creature has fangs, claws, and leathery wings, which would make it highly unappetizing to most outsiders. But these men's mouths are watering. As an appetizer, the chefs also roast sago grubs, a little green garnish completes the dish. As the ones who brought it back to the village, the hunters will eat first. Nice, nice. They eat the bat bones as well as the meat. And how does raw bat meat taste? It tastes like chicken. Same kind of flavor. It tastes good. Other places don't eat them. We don't know about their food traditions. We eat them because our ancestors did, and so will our children and grandchildren. 